Please stand. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello Bears, I'm Ashton Morgan, and we'll be asking our fellow classmates what their Halloween traditions are. What's your Halloween tradition? Um, I usually watch uh, movies at like 12 a.m. on Halloween, like scary movies. Carving pumpkins. Trick or treating and um, dressing up as Kanye. What? <laughs> Um, my tradition is just how, like trick or treating with my friends. Uh, I try to scare the kids who come up to my house. Trick or treat. Carve pumpkins. Oh, spend time with friends. Uh, I watch scary movies. I like making costumes. Uh, I eat a lot. I dress up and go with my friends. What's your Halloween tradition? Going trick or treating. Trick or treating. Trick or treating. Trick or treating. <laughs> I dress up and go trick or treating. Trick or treating. That's all from me. Now back to you in the studio. Happy Halloween Bears! We hope you're all decked out in your spooktacular costumes for Rivalry Week. On today's show, we have a look into the horror movie of the season and some other beautiful announcements. I'm Emma Hernandez. And I'm Olivia Black. Today is Thursday, October 31st, and Good Morning John Burrow starts right now. Let's kick things off with some sweet treats. The Interact Club is selling Boo Grams today at lunch in front of the big gym for just $1. Send a spooky surprise to your friends and support a wickedly good cause. Hocus Pocus, the JBHS library has officially reopened. It's a quiet zone for students to come read, study, or just decompress. It's open daily from 7.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Remember to grab a pass during class time and sign in with your student ID at lunch. In other campus events, don't miss Burroughs on Broadway's final weekend. Shows are Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are $15 or $10 with an ASB card. Come support our talented performers in this spectacular show. Moving on, yearbooks are on sale in the student store and online. Right now, yearbooks are $100 with an ASB card, but this discount ends on November 1st at 1.30 p.m. Don't let this chance slip away like a ghost in the night. Now before we move on to our final days before the rivalry game, we have our AP over athletics, Ms. Pulaski, here to talk about expectations for tomorrow's matchup against the Bulldogs. Good morning, JBHS Bears. This is an exciting week that will culminate with the Burbank versus Burroughs homecoming game. To ensure that everything goes smoothly, here are some updates to help you prepare for the big game. This year, JBHS is the home team. All spectators will enter at the home gate on the corner of Parrish and Verdugo. Digital tickets are required to enter the stadium. Tickets can be purchased through our ticketing website, seat.com. Students with an ASB card do not need a digital ticket, but must have their ID with the ASB sticker on it to enter, no exceptions. If you do not have the ASB sticker on your ID, you can have it reprinted by Ms. Cascalon in the Athletics and Activities Office. Students without an ASB card can purchase their ticket for $8. General admission tickets are available for $12. You must have a ticket or ASB card to enter the stadium, no exceptions. We will sell out, so purchase early. No cash sales at the gate. Only clear bags will be allowed. All bags will be searched upon entry. No food or drink except for sealed water bottles. No outside signs, balloons, flags, posters, or anything that might obstruct other spectators' views. No baby powder, no skateboards, or bicycles. No weapons, no vapes, no animals, no noisemakers, per CIF rules. Gates open at 5 p.m. on Friday for the varsity game and 3.30 p.m. on Thursday for the JV game. There will be no ins and outs. Once you leave, you will not be allowed back into the stadium. There will only be no entry after the third quarter starts. Absolutely no crossing the field. Please remember to be a good spectator, cheer loudly and respectfully, respect the opponent, refrain from taunting, enjoy the game. If you cannot adhere to these guidelines, you will be removed from the game. 
seniors, listen up. Senior superlative nominations are now open. Nominate your favorite seniors via the Google form in your grade level Google Classroom. Hurry. Nominations close on November 6 at 11.59 p.m. Also for our seniors, the College Peer Mentors are hosting a PIQ slash essay workshop today at AE with Mr. Kuglin. It's a perfect opportunity to brew up some tips for your UC applications. Let's not forget about our freshmen. Get ready for a Halloween-themed Link Crew tailgate today from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Join in the Halloween fun with games, music, and snacks. Wear your costume and bring some friends. See you there. Speaking of Halloween, let's send it over to GMJB reporter Scarlett Chan to take a look into the horror movie of the season. Hey Bears, the movie everyone's talking about this week is Terrifier 3. It's already caused fainting, walkouts, and throwing up at screenings all over the world. We take a look behind the mask at Art the Clown himself, David Howard Thornton, and find out how you can make anything possible. Just in time for Halloween, Terrifier 3 just became the highest grossing horror movie of all time. Thornton talks about the success of the franchise beginning with the first film. I think it was successful because it was made with a lot of heart and by people that actually loved the genre. And that's how we looked at it. When we made this, we made it for $35,000. We didn't even think this was going to become mainstream. We hoped, but we never thought that because we knew we were a small little low budget independent film going against Hollywood, mainstream Hollywood. And we just made the type of movie we wanted to see and we had fun. Influence has even made its way to JBHS. Horror Club member Ash Hoffman mentions their anticipation for the movie. I think it would be um, just all the different things that you know Art the Clown gets up to and just it's really insane and yes the movies are gory and so you know <laughs> things happen in that mo in those movies Thornton has advice for students who love the movie and want to pursue a career in the entertainment industry keep learning that is the most important thing um, is, is I as an actor am always finding new things to add to my repertoire and I'm usually learning that just from my fellow actors that I'm with on set Drama student Kaylee Husted offers how the horror genre acts as an inspiration. Horror inspires me as an actor because um, you get to use the emotions you see and it's really fun to know what you're doing and use your emotions to portray what's happening in the scene. See Art the Clown in Terrifier 3 playing in theaters now. Have a happy Halloween bears. For GMJV, this is Scarlett Shand reporting. Charlotte, looking forward to upcoming festivities. The Burbank Service Club is looking for volunteers for the Christmas Tree Lot. The event is from November 29th to December 21st. Check out the information on the bulletin to sign up. Let's take a look at some club news. The Music Appreciation Club is meeting today at lunch in room 1209. And don't miss the Improv Club, which will be meeting tomorrow at lunch in room 6101. The That Girl Society Bake Sale is happening tomorrow, November 1st, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. outside the football stadium. Lastly, the Portrait of Kindness Club will hold a lunch meeting tomorrow to discuss their upcoming field trip to the Japan House Gallery. Before we end our show, let's take a look at a spooky movie. Our GMJB team was tasked to creating a 60-second horror film based on the theme, Technology Can Be an Evil Thing. Here's one of our entries titled, Dead Air. Report suspicious activities. After Hours is recorded in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> Do you ever wonder if maybe you're a part of something bigger? Maybe you're not the one watching, but the one being watched. Do you ever wonder? Watch, watch, watch. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. You're not the first, Lisa. You won't be the last. All these people were just like you. How does it feel to be just another episode? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's all for today, Bears. Good luck to Boys Water Polo in their second round CIF game at Marietta Valley. Check in tomorrow for more news. I'm Olivia Black. And I'm Emma Hernandez. Have a fantastic day, Bears.